Back in February of this year, Semester at Sea reached out to me, offering me to join along on their fall 2023 voyage. Six months flew by and the day has finally come. September 1st, I caught an afternoon flight from Boise to my home state, Texas. I spent four full days with my family in Austin, saying my last goodbyes, cuddling with my sweet pups until it was time for me to finally say goodbye for real. We're on the struggle bus right now. Problem is your bag can only be 50 pounds. Mine is definitely not 50 pounds. So this is the third time that we are repacking all of this and fitting it into my duffel bag and i'm pretty sure my suitcase is 60 ish pounds okay so today i got two jelly cat that i'm gonna be bringing on the ship this was probably not a smart idea because they're kind of big this is the first one how freaking cute and then the second one i got is this cute little boba my dogs are fighting I think you need to go through and see what do you really need to like The clothes don't weigh that much. It's I know, but I don't think you can fit all these clothes in here, Caroline. It just isn't gonna happen. What are we gonna do? Send prayers. <laughs> My itinerary on September 6th looked a little something like this. I departed Austin, had a quick layover in DC, and then I finally arrived in Brussels, Belgium. Now that we're all caught up, welcome to the Semester at Sea Diaries. So it's 7 in the morning right now. I'm waiting by myself at the train station. A girl is tired. <laughs> the way that I am the biggest hot mess right now, the fact that I made it here, it's truly a miracle from God. Oh my gosh, all I gotta say is thank you so much to the guy at the airport who pulled out a duffel bag from behind the United Airlines counter because my bag was overweight and I would have had to pay 200 pounds. So thank you for letting me check in a third bag for free. Thank you to the man who helped me carry all of my stuff onto the train because I literally could not carry all that. And thank you to my taxi driver who just moved here from Africa for being the literal sweetest person ever. God, I don't, I don't even know how I'm here right now. I need to shower and take a nap. Fresh out of the shower and it's nap time. Currently it's 10.40 a.m. Texas time, I'm pretty sure it's like 3 a.m. So we're gonna get a quick nap. You already know the Squishmallows are on the bed. Good night. It's 3.44. I had a pretty solid nap. I'm gonna go run and grab a coffee somewhere around the city center because your girl needs to wake up. And then I have some exciting plans. I'm meeting my roommate today. She's gonna meet me at my hotel, but that's in like two hours. So I just got coffee. I ordered an iced vanilla latte with oat milk, but the guy somehow convinced me to get a Canadian coffee. So that's what I got, and that's what we're trying, and it's actually really freaking good. I'm walking back to my hotel right now though, and then I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm meeting my roommate in 10 minutes. This is gonna be my roommate for the entire voyage. It's just her and I, and I seriously cannot wait. We have been FaceTiming since February, texting, getting to know each other, and I already feel like we are the same person. I'm beyond excited to finally meet her, but I have to finish my makeup really quick. She and her family invited me to go out to dinner with them tonight. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna eat. We are smack in the center of Antwerp, so I know we will not have a problem finding a place to eat. But yeah, my coffee was so good. Canadian coffee is amazing. And I learned that the difference is they put actual maple syrup in it. So I might have to start doing that whenever I get home. <laughs> 
I ordered these slippers off of Amazon. They were 20 ish dollars and they are the best investment ever. Way better than Uggs, no offense. I love traveling solo. It's such a liberating feeling. Old me used to be so afraid of doing anything alone. I can't wait for the day when I can travel around with the love of my life because, I mean, who wouldn't? But I feel like learning to travel by yourself and enjoying your own company, going out, eating alone, figuring out the Euro rail system, which is kind of hard to figure out at first because everything is just in another language. Showing up, booking everything, it is a really good feeling. And I'm so, so thankful and grateful to be here right now. I can't believe I am embarking on the ship in two days. Tomorrow I'll have a full day to myself in Belgium and I'll probably end up meeting up with people. I did end up meeting some people on my flight over here. I guess a lot of people had that layover in Washington DC. So we all boarded the plane together and there were so many students going on semester at sea that were on that flight. The girl who sat next to me was actually going as well. My phone plan allows me to text unlimited here. If you're looking for a good travel size makeup product, this is the Milk Blush Stick. Last but not least, we're gonna do some lip liner. <laughs> yeah, I'm ten past. You see the T? That's my sign. Subscribe on my That's channel. That's his sign. That is my sign. So we're about to do an interview. My name is uh, Jenny. Okay, let's do this thing. General Manny. 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 Where are you from? I'm in Texas. Texas. So you... oh. Emma, Emma, which number will you give? Which number will you give yourself? I will give myself an eight. Why an eight? Because there's always room to do better, but self confidence is. Self yeah. yeah, of course, of course, self is, is, uh, mm -hmm. Which thing is the most beautiful for yourself, from yourself? I like my nose because my mom is Asian and my dad is white, so I got that combo. So your nose? Yeah, yeah Asian and white. Okay, it's a yeah. nice... Asian. Yeah, Asian. Asian. If you move to a man, like, what kind of thing is very attractive for you? What's the first thing by a man that is what attractive for you? Ambition. 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 Yeah, ambition. If they don't have a goal, then I don't want to. Cool, so uh, I'm busy with my goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good morning guys. I just got back from breakfast and I did in fact take like six of these Nutella packets and I brought a banana back. Breakfast was really, really good. Also on the way down there, I met this guy named Peter in the elevator. He's also going on semester at sea and so we got to know each other and then my roommate met us down there and so we all just kind of ate and talked and we already made some plans for today. I think we're meeting up with four or five other SAS voyagers, but I can't believe tomorrow we're going on the ship like for real for real feeling super excited and just really really happy everybody that i've met so far has been so so kind i think it's really cool that we have a community already of people who love to travel and you know just are always down for adventure we're about to go to the gym in like 20 ish minutes so I need to change into a little workout outfit. I got a chance to call my parents yesterday. I just got to the gym and this is actually really, really nice. We've got a nice view of the city. There's a good variety of workout equipment. I might do some kickbacks today. Yeah, I'm gonna get in a little quick workout. Currently getting ready right now. I finished the workout. I met up with a friend that I made in the elevator and we did a little workout. And then we also met another person <laughs> from semester at sea who went into the gym with her mom. So it's just crazy. Like I already have such a good feeling about just this whole voyage in general. But anyways, I'm about to meet people in the lobby of the hotel in like 10 minutes, but I have to finish my makeup because clearly I cannot go looking like this, but we're gonna walk to Chocolate Nation because we're in Belgium. We have to get chocolate, obviously. And I have the biggest sweet tooth. And then we're gonna walk along the water where the ship, which is on its way from Germany right now, is on its way. And that's where we're gonna embark. It is a very, very busy day today. I can't wrap my head around the fact that I'm here right now. Yeah. 
never heard of beanologists before. <laughs> We're trying out all these chocolates. This is like the best day ever. <laughs> mm. Mm. Chocolate Nation, pull up. Next, we're trying Ariba. Cheers. Mm. Your favorite. I think it's the caramel. I didn't really like that last one. What do you think of this one though? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This is the darkest one. <laughs> you need water. I need water. Oh yeah. Some more taste buds. Barge. That's just a very unique. I got the yeah, Satongo. Yeah. It's such a good champ. Mm. Amanda, congrats. You have to introduce yourself. Yeah. yeah, that's it. We actually hated each other when we were younger. And um, yeah, we were. Fun fact really, really sad fact. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. I'm lying. So I've never seen a live like this before. That's actually innovative. But we're at Starbucks right now. Robin's in line over there. Peep him. We ate at this. Giro. We were Giro. Giro. We were eating at this Giro place and it was so good. And I ate the whole thing. Is it Giro? He's a Giro. We don't know. We don't even know what we're saying. How cute are these jean jacket bags? I'm obsessed with the denim. I'm back in my hotel room and we had quite the day today between chocolate nation which was best tour ever belgium chocolate is way better than american chocolate hands down and just the production and the time that went into putting the museum together you can tell that they're very passionate about it and it was the best 16 euros that i've ever spent in my life i have been editing for the past three hours i'm exhausted and then i took a bubble bath because my body was just so tired from being out all day we ate greek food with amanda robin and sophia and amanda and i which is the girl in starbucks we actually know each other because our moms were best friends growing up and i think the last time i saw her was when i was like seven or eight years old so it had been a really long time and it was just so crazy that we ended up going on the same voyage at the same time so yeah tomorrow's the big day tomorrow we're going on the ship and we are leaving with everybody else that is going to be a whole separate vlog i cannot continue this one because it's just going to be one big long one but look forward to that and subscribe if you're not already follow along on the sass journey i think i've already met over like 30 people here and i can't wait to meet everybody else i'm so ecstatic um but yeah if you guys like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you didn't don't do anything i love you guys so much have a fabulous rest of your day and i will see you when i'm on the ship oh my gosh ciao